My name is Ella Wiley, and on behalf of the eighth grade class, I would like to present to you a jasmine, which represents faithfulness and good luck. My name is Eva Arntrong, and on behalf of the seventh grade class, I would like to present to you a rose, which means love. Love that. My name is London Busby, and on behalf of the sixth grade class, I would like to present you a larkspur, which represents happiness and joy. Now please welcome Miss Mack, who will offer our benediction. Olivia Burns, chairwoman of the senior class. Today, a representative from each class is presenting Ms. Cover with a flower that has been specially selected for the centerpiece on stage. On behalf of the senior class, I would like to present to you a snapdragon, which represents grace and strength. <laughs> My name is Annabelle Wilson, and on behalf of the junior class, I would like to present to you a clematis, which represents wisdom and ingenuity. Thank you. Oh, My name is Holly Beal, and on behalf of the sophomore class, I would like to present to you a calla lily, which represents overcoming challenges. That was really good. Thank you. 
My name is Eliana Tavibiazar, and on behalf of the freshman class, I would like to present you Lizianthus, which represents gratitude and appreciation. My name is Ella Wiley, and on behalf of the eighth grade class, I would like to present to you a jasmine, which represents faithfulness and good luck. My name is Eva Armstrong, and on behalf of the seventh grade class, I would like to present to you a rose, which means love. My name is London Busby, and on behalf of the sixth grade class, I would like to present you a larkspur, which represents happiness and joy. Now please welcome Miss Mack, who will offer our benediction. Okay, next we're going to let the student speakers do a trial run. Girls, you've got a copy of the program, right? And again, we're going to direct you when it's time. Someone will help you. All right, the first speaker, well, Janice, I'll so let I'll you do it. your little thing. So, um, Francis and Alex, when I get up here, I'm going to say something, 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 student speakers, and then I will say Alex Brumley, class of 2026, right, Alex? and Francis Crow, class of 2022. And you all will both come up at that time. And Alex, you'll just come straight up when I introduce you. And then Francis, just hang right there. And I'll probably say something to the effect of, you'll see kind of the difference between one of, one of our youngest students and one of our students who's about to leave. Okay, awesome. Good morning. My name is Alex Brumley and I am an 8th grader at GPS. In my two years at GPS, I have tried new things and worked hard in my sports and activities. I compete on the diving team, lacrosse team, and dance and motion makers. I have grown to love all the GPS traditions, such as opening assembly on the first day of school. When I was a sixth grader, on the first day of school, I felt so nervous and scared about entering middle school. But when everyone was so welcoming as we walked in front of the school, it made my nerves go away and I knew I was where I was meant to be. Now, as an eighth grader, I loved seeing the new sixth graders walk in front of the school last week at opening assembly because it reminded me of how I felt on my first day at GPS. Cat Rat is one of my other favorite t traditions. Having a senior to guide me through my first year of GPS was such an amazing experience and it instantly made me feel like I was a part of the GPS community. I loved how the seniors decorated our lockers and gave us goodies to make us feel welcome. Knowing how much fun it was to have a senior cat, I am already looking forward to being a senior and having my very own rat. Without a doubt, May Day is one of our most anticipated days of the year. After COVID kept us from attending May Day my sixth grade year, we were eager to be a part of the celebration last year, and it was just as amazing as I expected. Seeing all the seniors and their dresses, we got to honor them and celebrate GPS. It was so cool to see all the dancers perform and girls wrap the maypoles. It was so much fun to see how pretty the May Queen was and watch her as she waved to everyone. I can't wait to be a part of this celebration this year. 
With all that being said, I am honored to be helping welcome Mrs. Cover to the GPS community. I am very excited to get to know you and for you to get to know GPS. I'm looking forward to having you continue these traditions and I hope your experiences will be as rich and wonderful as mine. Thank you and welcome to GPS, Mrs. Cover. about the community that exists among us. You hear about how we find unity in the fact that thousands before us have walked the same steps and undergone the same school traditions that we have. You hear about our sisterhood, full of current, current students and alumni, and how far it spans both within our school directly and across the globe. There is a place for every person within our school because GPS unites all of our individual, unique identities under the common thread of being a GPS girl. GPS is such a special place because it fosters strong connections between students, faculty, and beyond. This year, the senior class chose the theme, Building Bridges, which perfectly embodies our drive to build lasting relationships that every member of our school possesses. One of the first remarks Ms. Cover made to the senior class was how struck she was by the deep generational love that runs through our school. As she embarks on this new journey as our head of school, I know the student body has high hopes for her to continue to expand and cultivate the community that we have. We hope she encourages the loving support that we have at our school, whether that be the support teachers have for their students, that students have for each other, or that alumni have for students. Beyond that, we know that Ms. Cover brings with her a fresh new perspective, which is another crucial component of our theme. Just as you can view a bridge from one side or the other, from below it or looking down from it, Ms. Cover will bring with her a multiplicity of fresh perspectives from her own personal experiences. And I can't wait to see how our school will evolve as she leaves her own mark. Thank you. for you today. Excellent. All right, so Sarah, we're going to do GPS fingers and then we'll let you guys practice too. Is that okay? Sarah, you're in charge. Oh, Miss Macheski's playing? Oh, you could. Sound so strong. 